Ms. King took to Twitter to thank the Duke and Duchess of Sussex for supporting volunteers at the Martin Luther King Jr. Center for Nonviolent Social Change in Atlanta taking part in a series of events on the day dedicated to the civil rights movement leader. Meghan and Harry sent to people taking part in a voter registration drive and fundraising project Black-owned food trucks. Ms. King shared on social media two pictures of some of the volunteers posing in front of the trucks alongside a message for the Sussex. She wrote, Thank you, Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, for providing local black-owned food trucks for at Thecking Center's King Day Community Service Project volunteers today. I'm so grateful for your graciousness in honoring my father. A similar message of thanks was also shared by the center's official Twitter account. The tweet by the center, which is run by Ms. King, also read, Your care matters so much to those here to register and educate voters and collect items for our homeless neighbors. MLK Day is a federal holiday in the U.S., falling on the third Monday of January every year. It celebrates the life and legacy of Dr. King, one of the most prominent leaders in the civil rights movement in the 196s. The nonviolent leader, who was born on January 15, 1929, was assassinated in 1968, four years after receiving a Nobel Peace Prize. This ISNT the first time Meghan and Harry mark MLK Day with an act of charity. In January 221, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex donated meal boxes to veterans volunteering for the Mission Continues, which works to empower veterans who are adjusting to life at home to find purpose through community impact. Their donation came with a message by the Sussexes, in which they said they were hoping to be able to help volunteers in person over the following months. The letter read, in honor of this day of service, and in recognition of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and all that he stood for, we want to send our thanks and gratitude to the team at The Mission Continues. We're so proud of all the work you're doing to support your community and hope you enjoy this small token of our appreciation. Thank you for your service, today and Meghan and Harry's own history as a couple is linked to MLK, as American Episcopal Bishop Michael Curry, who took part in the Sussex's wedding, paraphrased a quote from Dr. King's 1957 sermon on loving your enemies in his impassioned address during the nuptials. A few of the donations made by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex since they settled down in the U.S. have come to light over the past two years. Shortly after they relocated to California in the spring of 22, they were spotted donating their time to Project Angel Food, for which they delivered meals to people who were self-isolating. In the summer of 22, they took part in the drive-through charity event hosted by the organization Baby 2 Baby, during which they distributed supplies, books, backpacks, clothing, food, and other essentials for children in need ahead of the beginning of the school year. In September 221, while they were visiting New York, they pledged to donate $25, to a COVID relief fund launched by a restaurant in Harlem, Melba's. This fund was launched to provide financial relief to the dozens of hourly workers impacted at Melba's during the pandemic. During the same tour of the Big Apple, the Sussexes surprised students at Harlem's P. S. 123 Mahalia Jackson School to learn more about the Institute's initiatives to promote early literacy. There, Megan read her children's book The Bench and donated two garden boxes filled with vegetables and herbs to help support the community's access to healthy food. Moreover, their charity organization Archwell Foundation partnered up with Procter & Gamble to stock the school's pantry with personal health and hygiene and donated a washing machine and dryer for the school to use for students' uniforms. Megan also personally donated reading nooks to many Graham Wyndham locations scattered across NY City to help families have access to books.